Somebody's ready to eat. Hey, it's Jerry. Welcome back to Schmuckle Farm. Just up here giving Texas breakfast. I'm going to clean out the stalls, and then since the weather's really damp, um, it's not real cold, maybe 55 degrees or so, but it's been raining off and on all night. It's going to rain some more today, so not going to get a lot done outside, but I do need to add saddle racks to the two horse. All right, so here's the inside of the tack room. I've got 35 inches clearance from top to bottom and 57 and a half side to side. Plenty of room for two saddles. Originally there was something here. I took the what was left of the wood out. I don't really see, I think it was a somehow attached at the bottom to the floor, but wasn't very, wasn't very good. There wasn't very much of it left down in there, so. Any place else I put it, with this being kind of tight quarters, if I put it on this side, the saddles are going to stick out. So as I'm trying to get in and get ropes and other stuff, um, bridles, blankets, whatever, this is just going to be in my way. It would be easy for loading without getting into the trailer. It would be easy to unsaddle a horse and just slide the saddle in. But at the same time, I would rather be able to get in here and use the whole space. And if I do put saddles there, it kind of blocks off this side over here. So... I'm just going to put them underneath, but I'm fixing to get started cutting some lumber and show you what I plan to do. So here's my thinking. A saddle pad, a uh, roping saddle pad is 32 by 32. So the max I would need, the saddle actually on the skirt is 30 inches. So I'm going to go 32 on the foot and cut two of those out of this. I want to use a two by six for the footer so it has a little more lateral stability. Although I am going to attach the two posts in the middle of the board anyway. Scrap two by or scrap four by four and a piece of scrap two by four. So these will be my verticals, angled braces here into the footer. And since the metal in here is really good, what I'll do is go on the back side and drill a hole on each side where I can come through from the back side with the pan head and attach the verticals to the wall and it'll be attached to the floor and then there will be a board between them for stability. So I had some kayak storage units from whenever I was doing garage renovations and it's basically the same length as my saddle rack and the same width. Now of course the saddle racks are tapered and they do have a bar that comes up vertically a little bit but I have put a saddle on this and they ride just fine. I like the fact that it's got neoprene around it, doesn't rub on the saddle and they're aluminum, so they're not gonna rust on me. But I think they'll go just fine in here. And I've measured the saddles. Shouldn't be a problem with the fit. So we're gonna get started. So this is how it'll look from the side. I'm going to do a regular 45 degree right here. The actual rack will be 10 inches from the top, giving it an overall drop of about 12 and a half. Um, team roping saddles, especially my older saddle, has a little bit taller horn. So from the rack up to the top of the horn on it is 11 and a half inches. So. That'll give me a little bit to spare on that so it doesn't rub. But time to start putting stuff together. So that's what it looked like after I attached them. I noticed each post has just a little bit of a twist to it. They're plump, they're square on the bottom, but you know, it is what it is. The saddle's gonna fit just fine. I'm not doing this for someone else. I'm doing it for my own trailer. But each saddle, the way I hang my stirrups is 37 inches from top of the horn to the bottom of the stirrup. Take away, you know, 12. So you got 25 inches and this will give about 20 inches clearance down. So the stirrups may be turned a little bit whenever they're sitting, but um, it won't really bunch the leathers up too much. So I'm gonna put these in, put it, I had to put a piece on the back because I've got a bottom kickboard in here. So I had to make up that space somehow. So I should attach the board to the bottom, but they'll sit nice and flush against the back. I'm going to go ahead and measure and drill the holes 
so that I know exactly where to sit each one and then I'm going to brace them against each other whenever I'm finished. So I went and grabbed my Circle Y saddle. This is one of two roping saddles I have. Bought this one used. A little bit shorter horn than my other saddle. I was able to move the rack up just a little bit, but it still gives me good clearance front to back. My stirrups will have to lay like that, but if you have a two horse that doesn't have a dressing room in it, then you're having to fold your stirrup leathers underneath anyway because you're putting them under the nose. And there's you know maybe a couple of feet of clearance under there to begin with. So all in all, pretty happy with it. I'm going to measure these out and see where I need to drill my holes. And I'll get started on putting them in and attaching them to the back wall. All right, so put them both in. I decided not to put a cross brace between them right now. They're pretty well secured to the back of the trailer and also to the floor and they're really stable. I got in there really just pulled on them and tried to make a move. I couldn't get anything out of them and the saddles just don't weigh that much. So I think they'll work out pretty good and I was able to on the back side put the screws coming in from the horse compartment underneath the pad, the chest pad that's in there. So no issues there, but pretty happy with it overall. All right, well, that's all wrapped up. I'll take my saddle back up to the barn here a little bit. I don't leave my tack in the trailer, even though I keep the trailer stored inside. Now, when springtime comes and roping is happening multiple times a week, I probably will leave at least one saddle in there, maybe both. Um, but I prefer to store them in the barn, nice dry tack room. So that's what I'll do. Anyway, the saddle racks are pepper approved. She looks like she could really care. And that's going to be it for today. Until next time, thanks for watching.